This is a Brazilian Navy Ration Alternative Combat, or the RAC. Now weighing in at 3 pounds 9 ounces, this ration comes in 5 different menus. This one being menu 5, white beans with sausage meat, and some sort of beef risotto. <laughs> I guess this pouch also could pack a ration alternative emergency. Look at that nice blue pouch. <laughs> Let's give this thing a look. Alright. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's one part of the ration. This thing is separated into different parts. Some sort of instructional sheet. An accessory packet. <laughs> and another pack here. Alright, so this instruction sheet says something like, Instruction use for Marines and Sailors. The food in this package was specifically developed for survival use. Even when water availability is limited, when consumed entirely by one man in a day, it will maintain its efficiency for survival. For it has been fully balanced, therefore consume it completely, avoiding the exchange of food components of the package. Something on these lines, that's what the translator is saying here. And there's preparation instructions and talking about um, a combustible gel. I guess there's a fuel gel in here, that's interesting. And instructions on water purification. Let's check out the breakfast and lunch component. This thing has a breakfast and lunch, and then a dinner and supper, and then accessories. Oh, it says here it was produced July 2016 and expires July 2018. Cool. Oh jeez, look at this. Retort pouch inside of an interesting cardboard pack. So this is the uh, white beans with sausage. Is what it translates to. All right, let's see what else we've got. Got a sugar packet. Another sugar packet. Let's see here. This is some sort of. I guess these are uh, little fruit candies, little fruit jelly bars, and some. Drink mixes, or oh, this is um, some sort of porridge, I believe. And this translates to a cassava flour. I'm not sure what that is. And this is some sort of chocolate bar, cocoa chocolate, coconut chocolate, I guess. That's pretty interesting. And this is a hardened fruit drink. I'm sure it's still fine. It'll reconstitute. And two little light hard breads, like a toast. And this is coffee with milk, a little jam, a little strawberry jam, a regular pack of freeze-dried coffee. And that's it for breakfast and lunch. All right, and then this accessory packet. All right, what's this? Look at this thing. Wow, look at that. Alcohol gel. That's like a fuel gel. That's something right there. And then some water purification tablets. Decent. And then and some sort of hydration drink. This is like a electrolyte beverage drink. Cool. And, oh wow. Okay, so some toilet paper. And look at this stove. Very neat. And then for dinner and supper. So this is that beef risotto, and then some sort of fruit drink mix. This one's not as hardened up. And look at these, some sort of sour candy. <laughs> look at that little guy. And um, another one of those hard breads. And some sort of um, chocolate drink, a hot chocolate. Looking good. Coffee. Another one of those little light toasts. Another jam. That one looks like um, guava. Look at that. Another one of these interesting coconut chocolate bars. And two packs of sugar. Really covering the bases. All right, so let's first start off with breakfast. This ration calls for a small breakfast, so we're going to be starting off with this toasted light crisp bread, strawberry jam, got these little jelly bars is what I'm guessing these are, 
and we've got this all in one coffee. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off with that coffee. Calls for approximately six ounces, a little 40 gram pack. All right, so let's check out those jelly bars next. That's what I think this is, at least. A little fruit jelly, we'll see. It's an interesting wax paper. <laughs> Look at that. That looks pretty natural. Not bad. We'll check out that jam real quick next. That looks pretty basic. Oh wow, but it has this strawberry fruit snack kind of smell to it. it smells like candy. All right, so then these little crisp breads. These things are extremely light. They literally feel like nothing. And um, I can imagine don't have a very long shelf life, nor would they hold up very well. As you can see here, that is definitely the case. They're pretty broken up. Let's see if this one's any better. No, not really. Those are pretty crumbly. Oh, wow. So that's breakfast. So I gotta try out on these little biscuit. Mm. That tastes like a crouton. Okay, so that's cafe con leche. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That is perfect. It's very sweet, creamy, light on the actual coffee. But that is the sweetest all-in-one coffee, cream, or sugar I've ever had in a ration. It's delicious. I wish I could just drink it all in one sip, but I really do want to conserve it. So let's check out this jelly bar. It doesn't smell like anything. Oh wow, hmm, that is not a jelly bar. This tastes like molasses. It's a very dense, interesting, and then it just breaks up into this crumbly, sugary, molasses thing. It's not chewy, it's definitely not a jelly bar. My apologies for that. That is a really interesting, sugary pick-me-up for the start of the day. This whole thing, it's just carbohydrates and caffeine. I think the only protein might be in some dry milk in the coffee. Maybe like tops two grams of protein or something. I mean, it's very sparse for that. It's literally just, just a easy to eat start to the day. So let's check this out. Strawberry jam. There we go. That's more like it. That looks pretty good. There's something really special about this strawberry jam. It really does taste huh, very strong, like a strawberry extract. It's um, very rich of actual strawberry flavor. This stuff right here. Definitely wish there were like three or four pats of this jam, because one just isn't enough. <laughs> it's not bad though. It's just definitely not enough jam for those biscuits. Mm. They give you just a little taste of it. That really does taste like a fruit snack, like a strawberry concentrate flavor. It's very sweet. It's very satisfying. I'm gonna go for this last bit. Definitely easy to eat. This cafe con leche, essentially that's what it is here. It's just a very sweet, creamy, light coffee drink. Mm. I believe that's espresso though. So definitely gonna be a nice pick me up. I would say a shot of espresso is worth the caffeine in that easily, which is a definite great start to the day. Hmm, wow, what is that candy? Well, the light toast really isn't even bad on its own. We're gonna finish this up and then take it over to lunch in a couple hours. All right, so lunch is going to be one of the more substantial meals of the day. We're gonna be starting off this 250 gram portion of white beans and sausage. I believe that's what it is. Oh, that's really interesting. You have it in two pouches. Wow, that's really different. Maybe these are the beans, actually. So these things look a lot like the USMRE retort pouches. We're gonna boil these in the pouch for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off with this rice, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah, Look at that. Kind of an interesting, slightly gelatinous retort rice. <laughs> that all comes out in pretty much one slide. 
has a slight salty preservative kind of smell. <laughs> All right, and then for the main, we'll put this on top of that rice. Poke that a couple times. All right, and there's the white beans and sausage. I kind of want to try a slight bite of this on its own. Oh yeah, that definitely tastes like nothing. It needs this on top. That is the standard way to do it. And that is definitely looking good. That looks pretty decent. A little bit sparing on the actual sausage. Looks to be maybe about one and a half pieces. But that's no big deal. So we'll be checking out this farina. I'm not really sure what this is. Totally new thing to me here. Is this a, a grain porridge? I'm not sure. There's um, no instructions. So we'll find out. See if it's a drink or what. That is some sort of grain. Look at this. Hmm. It's just a really weird, kind of tastes like a, a cornflake powder. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with that. I'm going to set this here for a moment, and we're going to uh, check out these drinks. First off with this coffee. Yeah, with that grain thing there, this farina stuff. I have a feeling it's a porridge. So, we'll check that out in a moment. But right now, got to see this coffee. Smells like espresso. And then this, what essentially looks to be some sort of fruit drink. It's for 500 milliliters, two and a half cups. We're gonna put it into a 16 ounce portion. So, really get that flavor. Definitely has a strong vitamin C smell to it. A little bit of caking. And then this farina. That literally just looks like some sort of porridge. That's interesting. I'm just gonna add water to it. Hot water. I wanna check out this coffee first. Hmm. That's actually, considering the amount of water I put in, that's still very bold. This would have been perfect for espresso though. I don't know what I was thinking. Definitely should have done a smaller amount, like maybe two, one or two ounces of water and had the perfect espresso shot. This is like a really good dark roast instant coffee. The kind that's so robust, if you add eight ounces to it, it's going to taste like a light roast coffee. So there are definitely options to that. That's some of the best military ration coffee you can get. It's extremely versatile. And then let's check out this chocolate coconut bar. This thing looks pretty interesting. Look at that. Oh, wow. So then, the farina stuff. I'm not sure what to do with it. I hope I'm doing this right. I probably should have added water to that packet. That would have been nice. But this will do. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of porridge. Look at that. Looks like it needs a fair bit of water added to it and it just rehydrates immediately. Look at that. And you know, you could do so much with this. Wow. It's like instant grits. It actually needs a little more water. You know, this reminds me of some porridge I had in a South African ration a while back. This here though is still edible. That stuff was like over 20 years old. Very cool. I got to try that out first. Hmm, that actually tastes pretty wholesome. Like a nice whole grain grits. Very interesting. Hmm, never had that before. The white beans and rice sausage. Let's get a complete little everything kind of bite. All right. Hmm, yeah, that's really good. That's some pretty lean sausage. There's just not nearly enough of it. Again, a fairly high carbohydrate meal. Low protein. I mean, good thing there are the white beans. Hmm, that sausage right there, it has a very subtle kind of flavor. It tastes lightly smoky, 
It's not overly salty. <laughs> Actually, you know, most of the salt, I believe, is in the white beans. Mm. That is a very smoky and delicious sausage. Look at that. It really tastes like a um, smoked ham. And um, too bad I just went and ate all that right away. The white beans have a high salt content. That white rice is just very basic with a fair bit of preservatives. Light amount of onion, and that's about it. It's a very basic flavor, but it's delicious. Perfect for lunch, very subtle. I can imagine most people would be able to eat this and not consider it overpowering. Very subtle dish, not bad. So then this farina stuff, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. My apologies for my complete and utter lack of knowledge on this sort of grain porridge. Hmm, it almost has a light malt kind of flavor to it. It would have been great if I'd saved some of the sugar and put it on this porridge instead of with that coffee. This right here is excellent coffee. It, it definitely reminds me of um, some Italian instant coffee, Italian ration coffee. Very much like that. So let's check out this coconut chocolate bar. Oh, that's rice at the top. Hmm, that's exceptional. It's very strong, very, like an overtone of vanilla and coconut. The smell, oh wow. It's, an, it's a bold, nutty flavor with vanilla. It's one of the most delicious desserts you could ever have. This thing is like a rice chocolate Rice Krispies treat with coconut. That is terrific. I don't know what to say. If you can buy that bar in um, Brazilian supermarkets, <laughs> that would be amazing. Hmm. I think this porridge of sorts would have been great for breakfast, but it's still not bad for lunch. It's definitely bolstering the whole meal. So let's check out this orange fruit drink. This is where the vitamin C is at, that's for sure. This tastes like a really tangy and delicious, very sweet, commercial orange juice drink. It's kind of like Orange Screech from a British operational ration pack from the good old days. That right there is really strong. That is amazing. That's a great drink. Absolutely fantastic flavors here. Nothing's off-putting so far. Not even that relatively processed retort pouch rice. Even it is pretty decent. So this Brazilian ration, so far so good. Definitely some subtle, acceptable flavors that are playing it safe for just about any palate. Okay, so let's take it to dinner. Okay, and for that second large meal of the day, we're going to be starting it off with another retort pack. Split into another 250 gram main and then 100 gram side. Looks like the little 100 gram side is the sausages and then the main is this risotto. Interesting. That feels very firm, very dense. So we're going to boil those in the pouch for about 15 minutes again. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off with actually that stove. I'm going to heat some water up for that coffee on the stove over here. When in doubt, fiesta wear plates. Wow, that's nice and lit already. Oh yeah. All right, so while that's heating up, let's check out that risotto. That is smelling pretty good. Decent. Oh wow. Yeah, look at that. Some nice beef risotto. <laughs> the beef was mostly in the bottom of the pouch. And then those sausages. Might as well just lay them right on top. Oh jeez, look at these things. Huh. Wow. That's uh that's a sight. Wow, oh, this pouch smells incredibly smoky in an almost exaggerated manner. Like unnatural almost. But <laughs> still somehow inviting. I can hear that water sizzling. Oh <laughs> that's doing its thing. Oh yeah. Let's check out that fruit drink. This one hasn't caked up like the last. Let's see if it's a different flavor. I think it might be. Oh yeah, that's a cherry. Ha! 
cup looks like a red wine almost. Might be grape, not sure. That has a really nice grape cherry kind of smell to it. Oh wow, I still don't know what that is. If that's grape or cherry, pretty sure it's cherry. It's just a really, maybe it's black currant. Unbelievable. So let's check out this Goma candy. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> nice little sugar pick me up. Some little jelly candies, essentially. Nice little <laughs> artificial fruit flavored sugar chew candy. And then another one of these coconut chocolate rice crisp bars. This thing is probably the most appealing part of the ration when it comes down to the snack components. Okay. So that water is still heating up for our coffee. I want to check out this beef risotto. Little on its own. And then we'll try out that sausage. Hmm. That beef. That tastes homemade. Home cooked. Okay, the sausage. How easy does a spoon cut into it? Very easy. Okay. Hmm. That's a very smoky kind of processed spam kind of sausage. Look at that thing, it's more like a hot dog than it is sausage. That I don't like as much as say this beef risotto when it comes down to the quality of the actual meat itself. But I would definitely eat this part of the ration. You have to. I mean when it comes down to it, it's the only component that is solely meat. But it's very processed, look at that. It tastes almost like bologna. It's a really smoky, nitrate filled I'm not really sure. It really does taste like bologna in a weird hot dog form. But the beef risotto, this right here, mm, definitely saves it. So what are those vegetables there? Is that... not sure what this is. Some sort of cornmeal part. What is that? Interesting. That beef is really good. It's kind of greasy. So let's check out this coffee. You know, I kind of wouldn't mind not adding the sugar. I just want to try this coffee on its own. Oh yes, there you go. Bold dark roast. This really gives you the true appreciation of the actual quality of that coffee. That right there, that'll definitely perk you up. Fantastic. It's a bold roast. It's a little bit nutty. Lightly bitter, not acidic at all. It's really good. Follow it up with this right here. Hmm. You know, that milk chocolate in this coconut vanilla rice krispies treat essentially um, seems fairly shelf stable. Like it wouldn't melt all that easily. This is a perfect ration component. That's a unique and delectable flavor. Oh wow. Yeah, that's amazing. This beef risotto, it's pretty savory. You know, the comparison of this beef from the beef risotto to the uh, sausage, world's difference. I've noticed these main courses are lightly seasoned. Um, no real seasoning or flavor packets to go along with it. Mm. The, uh, the sausage is best paired with that risotto to kind of mask its artificial um, processed kind of consistency. This beef risotto, this I'm going to finish up. Then in a few hours, I'm going to take it over to supper. All right, and supper's the other small meal. You got two crisp breads, some guava jam, this electrolyte beverage base, and some hot chocolate. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off with this electrolyte drink. I can immediately smell some sort of citrus. It smells like lime. heat up some water. Alright, so while that's heating up, alright, so let's check out this crisp bread next. I have a feeling this one here has uh, held up a little bit better. Let's see. <laughs> I'm hoping. 
Maybe. Maybe a little bit. It's pretty much just some croutons. That's what these are. I mean, it's not really conducive for putting any sort of jam on them, and especially not on the go. But this part of the meal is definitely a nice, quick, end of the evening snack. So then, this guava jam. I wonder what this is looking like. It's pretty thick. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. Let's try and get a little bit at a time. Well, that's a little more than a little bit. But, you pretty much just get <laughs> a couple bites with the guava jam. The rest are just some tasty little croutons. Which is pretty cool. I still say they could have used a couple more pats of jam than what they provided. But, look at that. That water is definitely just about at the right temperature. I can see it steaming a little bit over there. It's got a nice little sound to it. You can hear it doing its thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out that jam on essentially what is a little crouton. Hmm. You know, that jam is delicious. It's sweet. It has such a fantastic consistency to it. I mean, it really is. It's not runny whatsoever. I mean, <laughs> you can definitely gather that. I mean, it's, it has a great texture. It's almost like candy, but the flavor is not as notable as the strawberry, but it's still delicious. Oh wow, that is still fantastic. It's just a little crisp bread on its own. Mm. Oh wow. Now this is really good. This isn't as tangy as I expected. This is a really good electrolyte beverage base. It is a, a lot of electrolytes. This is strong. It's just lightly sweet, lime flavored, very high in electrolytes sports drink. This drink would definitely replenish your electrolytes after a long day. That was terrific. Very efficient. Wasn't going for food coloring and overly sweet kind of flavors. And I like that. That's a, that's a good thing in a ration to have. I can't help it. Gotta go for this last piece. That guava is not as tangy or notable in any distinct flavors as, say, that strawberry. But it was still really good. Alright, look at that hot chocolate. Well, that smells very rich. Wow. I've never smelled hot chocolate like that before. That smells like you went into a chocolate shop that sells candy and chocolate and it's just this rich, sweet, chocolatey smell. <laughs> That's incredible. That's looking just right. Wow. That's emanating this very rich milk chocolate kind of smell. Mm. It actually has a slight malt kind of flavor. I don't know what that is. There's a certain dynamic to this that's more unique than a regular hot chocolate, like say Swiss Miss. It has very rich, very sweet. <laughs> this is awesome. There's an interesting kind of grainy flavor to this hot chocolate. I don't know what it is. There's like a grain malt kind of background to the flavor. It's um... wish I had more of it. That is some exceptional hot chocolate. Well that's a Brazilian ration alternative combat. Traditional flavors to some traditional main courses. Very good standard comforting kinds of flavors. The food in this was fantastic. I really enjoyed this ration. Thanks so much, Pascal, for sending this thing out to me. This thing here really was an awesome experience. Anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.